Only on seven, the search for a trio of urban explorers. Police say could be tied to a dangerous arson fire at an abandoned elementary school in Highland Park. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shake shows us who police are looking for and why they're being called persons of interest after posting a YouTube video of the school. Highland Park police say beyond these doors, someone recently started a fire in this abandoned school's library, and they could be the very same folks potentially posting to YouTube as urban explorers. Take a close look at this recent video posted to YouTube by a man who identifies himself as the Wasteland Explorer. Police have asked us to show you his face and the faces of two other men in the video because they want your help to find them. All three are considered persons of interest after an arson fire at the same abandoned Highland Park School last Wednesday. Just prior to the fire, when the fire was started uh, and upon police and firefighters arriving, um, he was seen fleeing from the scene. These images show some of the aftermath from the fire inside the vacant school's library. In the heart of Highland Park, detectives say along with property damage, nearby homes were put at risk and the lives of firefighters who answered the call. Police officers or any type of firefighters that are coming and trying to extinguish this fire are definitely putting their lives in jeopardy because we don't know if there's anybody trapped in the building. The former elementary school at Midland and 2nd Avenue is now being boarded up yet again as the investigation moves forward. In the meantime, police are urging any urban explorers to stay away or risk arrest and prosecution. Whether it be criminal acts like arson in this one or even the urban exploring, even though it might sound interesting and cool to look at, um, it, it is still a crime and uh, it puts people's lives in jeopardy. If you have any information about who could be involved in this arson fire, please contact the Detective Bureau at the Highland Park Police Department right away. From Highland Park, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you.